better with the Winnie. Insta scope on pickup is a strong weapon, but okay, wait, wait, wait. Petricor might actually want to get involved a little more than we expected. Are they just late engaging on this? AZ wants Whoa. something. He is going to try and. Okay, but there's a shotgun. I was just going to say, they came in super late. Not sure if that's miscommunication or just not in agreement of what's going to happen. You can see all the players, they're all out in the hills. So you have to question that this isn't favoring anyone. It really isn't. I mean, if Twisted Minds comes out here now without taking any casualties, they might throw it. But let's see, Kauri Peaks almost Woo! both one double headshot, taking down one instantly with the AK. Those fall in return, and I don't think there's going to be a rest coming through on the side of Pentagram here. Tricky position, but as I say that, Wigget sends it down the hillside, but instantly met with bullets from Lou. Yeah, what a great uh, counter knock by Lou. Spy, we're going to be there on the angle to help confirm that. But oh, unexpected, the adder flank. Who flanks the flanker? It, everyone's all caught up amongst each other, but at least the positions are now realized and knowns, and this is going to be a one versus one here. But Akkad, I think, is going to try and loop on back and He's isolate sprinting. this. Isolate Spyro. There's a yeah. shotgun in hand, though, so Adder needs to worry about getting pushed. Adder needs to buy time. He needs to stay put, and it works out for him. Skyle on hand. Comes out victorious as Spyro falls. Akkad was there, ready to help. But that didn't need it at all. So in the end, it will be Twisted Minds taking casualties here again. I mean, both teams taking casualties, and once again, proving to the world and everyone else. Like, that's just kind of the, the, yeah. men, the mental part of it. So there should be no way for Heaven to go, oh, of course there's one there, because he was he's yeah. probably currently thinking, I was the one there. There is no one backfilling us. I should be all right. Issue now, for example, is that as he peeks on over, all of Gen G is starting to shoot him, and as he actually falls in the midst of that transition. SDK pushing on in. Sonics have a lineup onto that one, but they're going to be find, finding a little bit of a dip to hide on through right between New Happy and Sonics, which is a bit of covering fire for them to keep them safe. Yeah, Utilizing be, other teams they're, against they're each other. They're going to be all right for now. For Sonics, it's important, of course, still try and maintain full control here. Floggy does find the double. Ike's lift one in return, but damage done to Petrico is to try and come down the hillside. Thanner right now, along with Bob Oates, able to make an aggressive play forward. But can they get Floggy back up on his feet? I'm not sure that's going to be possible, especially not with the shots coming in from Cerberus towards the south. Yeah, that's a big threat, but they need to take care of Ike's left first before anything is considered. Pentagram, do go out. 16th place, the first full team wiped out here. And with the amount of field that we see in play, it's going to be hard for a bunch of teams to continue to survive yeah. that much longer. Just again, this is reminding me of one of the earlier games here where there really aren't that many positions to play. Utility played by both sides and shots against Cerberus. They have so much influence on this yeah. zone right now. It's closing on their position, open ground. They are providing cover and a lot of shots from a lot of directions. And Genji swinging on through. Unsure if they expected Petrico Road to be here, but Aixlep is going to drop too. Easy job to confirm those as well. And the remaining members of Genji, who are miles away, going to have to figure out some other spot to go. I cannot justify that rotation for them. I know it's hard to scout, but at least wait for your two teammates and push together. They're running into an area where they've just seen people get killed from and goes down. That is a, a bit of a head scratcher, but again, day one, maybe need to shake things up a bit coming into uh, day two of Miramar tomorrow. Send on the move right now, going towards the hay bells. One of the few options that they have left, and honestly, don't overthink it. Stay here, stick here. Do not eye up Cerberus' compound. That's going to be a really, really hard send with New Happy overlooking that angle as well. Navi versus Ghibli, it is still going on. Alio again mm -hmm. with a great angle, killing Heaven here. It is all in agreement down to one HP. Yep, now 4am again, they've been looming on the east side all game long, able to get the first hit off as Goomin, as Alia peeks on over one small <laughs> shotgun, we have a shotgun Winchester, that is not a uh, a loadout, you see utilized too often, the issue is now Millman falls and because phase 4 is closing in, Alia has no chance of getting him back up alive. Yeah, Navi has been taking a lot of damage in the past few minutes here, it's all down to one player, that there's not going to be a revive on Mel at all. Cuban is pushing forward with the shotgun. Going to try and take this fight close range. All that range is really poor for this engagement. The closer he gets, the bigger the chance of him to come out victorious. Two shots left, and the bear will make that one. Whoa! Finds it with the final bullet in the chamber. Able to take him down. Not a whole lot will come off of it, but at least one more point secured. Yeah, exactly. Not quite into placement point territory just yet. Mill! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Woo! Power HP remaining. Somehow able to stay alive. Purple Moon yeah. are out. Circle does shift towards the east. Cerberus' compound barely inside, but LG and Sonics, they are able to stay in their position. Running each their direction as soon as they got out of that vehicle, too, because they knew exactly what was going to happen. They knew what was coming in, and now, New Happy, this is going to be a hard attempt for them to try and make space for themselves. They did it last game against Sun 
one sister in uh, Montenuevo. Well, let's see if we can do it here too. Rolling in the wheat field, shotgun in hand. Petrogor Road but unknown, Cerberus, but again, Cerberus is still constantly peppering these players. Oh, and now Cuban is on his feet. <laughs> it's Cerberus. Already on the move, they knew the circle was not going to go to them at all. And so they're like diving straight towards the center. Where can they go? That's the big question. They're probably going to have the car for it amongst one of these tractors, or they found the hill. They found a little deflate. Yeah, I don't think that's going to grant them a whole lot of life, but we'll see. What well, comes over in the meantime, New Heavy finally committing to the fight against Sun Sister and in similar fashion to what we saw go down in Montenuevo just two games ago. They are demolishing Sun Sister. Oh, Shrimzy also trying to get involved into this, but New Happy back into one vehicle. Pushing on forward, taking the ground that they stole from Sun Sister, pushing oh. off onto the side corner. A lot of damage though. Luminosity are gonna try and follow up. Snaker still has more nades to use. Shrimsy with the double. There is only so much space for you to spread out when you're in a dip like that on Luminosity. Truly a prime pleasure to a new heavy as they try and just do anything they can to stay alive here. Luminosity have a great position in this zone. They have a small little pocket on the side, which means they can have an isolated engagement towards new heavy. They need to worry about 4 a.m. to the north side, but they're going to be swinging in the opposite direction. You can see in the very far end of the screen going into EXO. Empty has already been knocked. Kang with the grenade at the ready pulls that one away, but crazy. Crazy gonna try and land that one onto the ramp. Such a great time push here. 4 a.m. again, crazy. 4 a.m. able to find all these crates, all these great guns. Issue Bram is can't quite find the connection. Mill able to get one down and return. And eventually, eventually, this trap will be sprung from the teams on the other side. Petro Cuban. will fall as Cuban is able to take down one with a shotgun. He lives to see another day of potentially placement points too as the Winchester comes running up from behind. 4 a.m. They are still alive somehow. The revives are coming on through. Same thing for EXO. This is such a precarious position. And look at Severus also pushing on to this one. They're receiving zero pressure from the southeast yeah. side. They have all this room that they can push over and take control of this north end. Imas is doing so much to contain Ascend on the other side while the rest of Cerberus is making the play for the north. They know that if we can clear at least one of these two sides, the game just might be ours. But EXO, still four alive, somehow have been able to withstand the push from 4 a.m. But they need to deal with Cerberus here as well. They can't just sit down and allow the fights to unfold around them. It's all on to Shaolu and Crazy 4 4 a.m. The other two have been removed and taken out. Akira and Empty also removed for EXO. Duck by him as the last two up for Cerberus. So everyone has been wounded into this situation. Everyone's been wounded into this zone. Yeah. It's only Luminosity and Sonics who already have wins under their belts with the full squad of four. But looking at how many members are in this southeast side, how long is that one going to last? The north of the Sabrol, and now the south has become one as well. He gone over. Rebel find one. Snakers finds the other. Ming Ming able to get one in return, though. So the fight not just done yet, but Ming Ming sat here alone versus three of LG. And now on fire, not going to withstand the pressure as Luminosity lives to fight another day. Was able to catch LG off guard, but wasn't able to finish the job for Angry Man. Shalu. Stuck by has been taken down. It's only him as left for Cerberus. Smoke coming out. Gonna go for the confirm there and get that fifth kill for his team. They're inside placement point territory as well. Jumps on the ramp. Knows generally where Crazy is. Makes sure that Crazy isn't gonna push. Goes for the revive. There's no way he aggro plays this. He's actually pulling up with a nade in his no. hand. Unfortunately, his vehicle hitting a rock down the roadside. Will that nade connect? It bounces far. Damage done on both of them, but able to get back on their feet. You saw them leave the smoke. I'm pretty sure he saw them leave the smoke. He spots one. Him as takes a couple of bullets, but again, not enough for the knock. Flash lopped on over. That one should be good. Forcing one off. Hands in the air. Well aware that the angle ain't quite there. I'm crazy though, missing crucial shots and duck my nice peeker on the side, able to take him down. Will accidentally take on him as, as well, but the rest should be able to come up. And now, three times North America versus APAC for the last Miramar of the day. It was a close, close clutch there for Cerberus, but they have the time for the revive. They don't have the time, however, for the attempt of spatial control. Sonics and Luminosity both swinging out as SDK do get eliminated. There are three teams remaining. And Luminosity and Sonics, there's a good chance that they go into a really explosive fight right now, yeah. which would give Cerberus the opportunity. With uh, still honestly impossible to tell in terms of Sonics and Luminosity, who's gonna come oh. out victorious. h win getting that knock with the bold action on the Duck Mai is huge. It's all to him as right now. It is not really worth it for him to swing back behind and get the revive. Likely he'll be taken out if he attempts to do so. Sonic's also spreading out. They were in one singular pocket, which is so risky for grenades. And now Tickleton is up there with the high ground. 
mean, they're not allowing for LG. If they get one peek, if they get attack in, they Sonics don't re-peek it. They yeah. say, we cannot afford a knock here, because that will be Luminosity insta-pulling up on us. I like Kickstar's off-angle position. Don't think he's been seen here. Geo with the vehicles all coming towards his position now, that is going to be shown. And as here as the vehicle come on in, wasn't able to peek it, but it sends it right over his position. How is he still alive? Him is able to do so much damage, forcing the LG players down behind the vehicle. Now the money comes in, the nade to follow. Should be him falling and in the end, he will go down. But was it enough for Sonics to readjust, to reposition? They've only gotten two across. This is a huge pit position for Luminosity, however. They're able to have a nice little spread of their own across that road. It's going to be difficult for Sonics to move out and get that central position, but it's going to be trade knocks back and forth, kick and Tiggleton. Yep, two of the high impact players from either team. Finding kills on either side. Relo versus Mime here. Up close and personal. No HP and both of them. Relo! One more bullet needed to be hit. Can't quite find a takedown. H win falls as well. Mime down to low HP. Now Strimsy with the MK in hand trying to withstand. Relo still keeping Mime isolated there off onto the side, which means that Strimsy needs to come up with something huge himself. Luminosity doing a really good job of that vehicle send to separate, to drive a wedge into Sonic's members' positions. Yep. So far, Shrimsy somewhat isolated, but Kickstart is the same issue being Luminosity in that aggressive push took no casualties. Now, finally, more pressure being done. The final pressure at that, and twice in a row, Luminosity Gaming out victorious.